those who can adapt will inherit the earth. It doesn't take a genius to see that the world is changing and that the world is changing very fucking fast. The old models of yesterday are irrelevant. The old paradigms are dissolving. And it is the men who are able to adapt to new circumstances, to get out of their comfort zones, that will be successful in the future. Now, a similar thing happened a few hundred years ago. A few hundred years ago, a large sum of the population worked in agriculture. Many people were farmers. And then something happened. The Industrial Revolution happened. Then people started working factories. People started working for these huge factories like Henry Ford's. And then something else happened. Those factories got machines and those jobs disappeared as well. Now we're living in an age where the same thing will repeat itself, but on a larger scale. Technology, software, advances at a rapid state. And the people that cling onto the old way of doing things are going to get left behind because the world has taken on its own route. It's taken on its own path. So if you still believe in the old model, if you still believe in working one job all your life and retiring on a pension like your parents did or your grandparents did, you better forget about it. If you still think your college or university degree will save you for the next few years, you're lost. The new world rewards the engineer who's not afraid to become an artist. The new world will award the artist who's not afraid to become a programmer. You always have to be changing. You can't have your ego attached to one particular position. Gone are the days where you are just a plumber or you're just a teacher. The new world will reward those that are willing to change, those that are able to change and adapt to different situations. It's just as simple as that. Those that can't do it will get left behind, wondering what happened in the shadows. So what will you do? Will you embrace change? Or will you cling on to the old ways of doing things blindly? Look at what happened to the people that used to own video rental stores like Blockbuster. When was the last time anyone ever fucking saw a Blockbuster? Or maybe look at the music industry. The people that owned CD shops and refused to see iTunes and illegal pirating as a threat to their business. Where are they now? How about bookshops? As everyone moves on to ebooks and audio books, they're disappearing as well. Retail, as online shopping gets bigger and bigger, every industry is going to be forced to change. Every job is going to have new technologies, new programs that can do things far quicker than any human could do. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to sit there and complain? Or are you going to be at the front edge of these new developments? Are you going to find ways to become relevant? Are you going to upgrade your skill set, educate yourself, and make yourself relevant? There's always going to be room for people. This isn't some doomsday video where the robots are going to take over. There's always going to be people involved. But these people can no longer be lazy, can no longer do easy jobs you're gonna have to be innovative and a bit more creative than you might have intended to be so that's the challenge for you and that's the challenge for everyone what's happening guys it's your boy isaac checking in in the realized bedroom and that video was actually a re-upload of a video i made in 2015 i think but the video didn't really get too many views got like 100 views um i thought i'd re-upload it now because i didn't have time to edit the video today and also because it kind of serves as an introductory video into this concept I'm going to talk about in the following weeks of deep work, right? The ability of just getting work done and developing your skills so that you stay ahead in the world that's coming up, right? Because as things change, you need to change, you need to advance and become better. So we're going to be talking about that. And once again, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video in this series. Peace. So, this is the end of the video. You must have really liked it if you got this far. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, I'm right. Okay. If you liked it, please click subscribe and hit the post notifications because YouTube is doing this weird thing right now where if you subscribe, it doesn't even show you my videos. Very strange, very strange stuff. But yeah, 
Click those post notifications. Well, good. Till next time.